National Socialist Black Metal also known as NSBM, Aryan Black Metal or Neo-Nazi Black Metal, is a political philosophy within black metal music that promotes Nazism or similar ideologies. It typically melds Neo-Nazi ideology with ethnic European paganism and opposition to foreign religions such as Christianity, Islam and Judaism. However, some artists are Satanists or occultists, rather than pagans. NSBM is not seen as a distinct genre, but as a neo-vokish movement within black metal. According to Matthias Gardel, NSBM musicians see this ideology as a logical extension of the political and spiritual dissidents inherent in black metal. Although there is an undercurrent of ethnic nationalism in black metal, NSBM artists are a small minority within the genre. Many NSBM artists are not very explicit with their political beliefs in the music, instead expressing their beliefs offstage. Artists who hold far-right or white nationalist beliefs but do not express these in their music are not often deemed NSBM by the greater black metal scene, but may be labeled as such in the media. Some black metal bands have also made references to Nazi Germany purely for shock value, much like some punk rock and heavy metal bands. While some black metalers boycott NSBM artists, many are indifferent or appreciate the music without supporting the musicians. However, according to Christian Dornbusch and Hans Peter Kilgus, the writers of Unheilige Allianzen, Vokish pagan metal and neo Nazism are the current trends in black metal, and in turn are affecting the broader metal scene. <laughs> black metal Black metal is a style of extreme metal music. Common traits include fast tempos, a shrieking vocal style, heavily distorted guitars played with tremolo picking, raw lo -fi recording, unconventional song structures, and an emphasis on atmosphere. Artists often appear in corpse paint and adopt pseudonyms. During the 1980s, several thrash and death metal bands formed a prototype for black metal. Initially a synonym for satanic metal. Black metal is often met with hostility from mainstream culture, due to the actions and ideologies associated with it. Many artists express extreme anti-Christian and misanthropic views, advocating various forms of Satanism or ethnic paganism. In the 1990s, members of the scene were responsible for a spate of church burnings and murders. There is also a small neo-Nazi national socialist black metal movement within black metal, although it has been shunned by many prominent artists. Generally, black metal strives to remain underground, inaccessible to the mainstream. Topic history In the 1980s, black metal referred to heavy metal bands with satanic lyrics and imagery. In the early 1990s, the early Norwegian black metal scene developed the style into a distinct genre. The scene members were fiercely anti-Christian and generally presented themselves as misanthropic devil worshippers who wanted to spread hatred, sorrow and evil. However, some bands who did not call themselves black metal because they were not satanic wrote about pre-Christian Scandinavia and its folklore. In 1992, members of the scene burnt down a number of churches. In August of the same year, Faust of Emperor killed a gay man who had propositioned him in Lillehammer. In August 1993, Varg Vikerns of Burzum killed fellow musician Euronymous, a well-known figure in the scene, and was arrested shortly after. Euronymous was said to be a communist, but Vikerns denies killing him over ideology. Although Vikerns's music has always been non-political, he began to express neo-Nazi views in writings and interviews after his arrest. Vikerns is generally seen as being responsible for popularizing such views in the black metal scene. According to an interview in Blood and Honor magazine, he contacted neo-Nazi organization Zorn 88 later called the National Socialist Movement of Norway in 1992 and joined White Aryan resistance before he killed Euronymous. While in prison, Vikerns began to formulate his nationalist heathen ideology and wrote a manifesto called Vargsmal. It became available on the internet for a while in 1996, and in 1997 it was printed by a Norwegian publisher. Vikerns has long since distanced himself from the NSBM scene and refers to himself as an odalist rather than a national socialist or fascist. Some other members of the early Norwegian scene explored with Nazi themes and imagery, but this was partly an attempt to provoke listeners. Vikerns later claimed that the scene had begun as a nationalistic, Norwegian centric, racist, and anti Christian revolt but was hijacked by the Jew dominated music industry. 
He claims the industry made it into another tool with which to destroy Europe, by promoting bands who embraced everything sick and anti-European on this planet, from porn and promiscuity to drugs and homosexuality. Hendrik Mobus of Absurd called NSBM the logical conclusion of the Norwegian black metal movement and interpreted the church burnings as a cultural atavism. Vikerns wrote some lyrics for the album Transylvanian Hunger by Darkthrone, another key band in the Norwegian scene. It was released in 1994 with Norska Risk Black Metal, Norwegian Aryan Black Metal printed on the back cover. This caused much controversy, but Darkthrone offered an explanation and stated that they were not a Nazi band nor a political band. At around this time, some other Norwegian black metalers made seemingly racist statements. In 1994, Mayhem drummer Hellhammer said of the genre's links with racism, I'll put it this way, we don't like black people here. Black metal is for white people. When Mayhem reformed after Euronymous's death, they began releasing merchandise bearing World War II era Nazi symbols. However, in a later interview, Hellhammer said, I don't give a crap if the fans are white, black, green, yellow, or blue. For me music and politics don't go hand in hand. In 1995, prominent Norwegian black metal vocalist Gall described niggers and mulattoes as subhuman and stated his admiration for Vikerns and Adolf Hitler. However, he too has since distanced himself from these statements. Gall was voted Gay Person of the Year in 2010 in Bergen. According to the authors of Lords of Chaos, in 1995, three Swedish black metalers including Mika Belfager, Hakola of the band Nefandis went on a nigger hunt in Linköping. Wielding an axe and two machetes, they terrorized a black man. Nefandis were later considered to be Nazi sympathizers. Though Belfager explained, this could not be further from the truth, but I guess this has to do with some of the controversial comments I made in various magazines in my youth, when I still aspired to play in the most hated band in the world. I used a lot of provocative language back then. But to sort things out, I associate with people of all creeds and colors. So to be labeled a Nazi or a racist is very offensive to me. One of the first NSBM releases was the 1995 demo Thuringian Pagan Madness by German band Absurd. It was recorded while the members were imprisoned for murdering a boy from their school. On the demo cover is a photograph of his gravestone and pro-Nazi statements. After this, Absurd became one of the pioneers of NSBM. Other bands deemed to be part of the early NSBM scene include Graveland, Infernum, and Velez from Poland, Brandicold from Russia, and Spear of Longinus and Waffenbruder from Australia. In the 1990s, some of the earliest American black metal bands—like Judas Iscariot— joined an international NSBM organization called the Pagan Front, although Judas Iscariot's sole member Akhenaten left the organization. The Lemner, the drummer of German band Secrets of the Moon, said he got to know him only as an intelligent person and never as a Nazi. Ideology NSBM typically melds neo-Nazi beliefs such as fascism, white supremacy, white separatism, antisemitism, xenophobia, homophobia with hostility to foreign religions Christianity, Judaism, Islam, ASF. Bands often promote ethnic European paganism, occultism, or Satanism. Hendrik Mobus of Absurd described Nazism as the most perfect and only realistic synthesis of Satanic, Luciferian will to power, elitist social Darwinism, connected to Aryan Germanic paganism. Members of the band Der Sturmer, named after the anti-Semitic newspaper edited by Julius Streicher, subscribe to esoteric Nazism, leaning on the works of Savitri Devi and Julius Evola. Anti-Christianity and antisemitism Typically NSBM musicians regard Christianity as a product of an alleged Jewish conspiracy to undermine the Aryan race by eliminating their Artglauben and their original culture. These musicians usually reject the legitimacy of Christian antisemitism as well as the German Christians movement, which celebrated and promoted Nazi ideology in the context of an unorthodox Christian theological framework. Hajarulf Henker of the band Der Sturmer said, I don't think that a dogma like Christianity has a place in Ariandom. 
There is no way to make Christianity fit into the Weltanschauung of the Aryan Overman. Christianity teaches humbleness, the loss of national and racial identity, and equality, things alien to our cosmotheory. You cannot combine Jesus with characters who represent Aryan ethics. Christianity is Christianity and it is Jewish by its very birth and conception, a vehicle in the Jewish world domination and designed as such. White supremacy. NSBM bands typically regard white Europeans as superior to other races. They are concerned with racial hygiene, preserving the purity of the white race and the traditional cultures of white European nations. They argue that these cultures have degenerated over the centuries due to race mixing. These views are comparable to those in the chapter Volk und Rasse in Hitler's Mein Kampf. Whereas Nazi leaders held pan-German and anti-Slavic views the Nazis viewed Slavic people to be uncultured and inferior to Germanic people, the NSBM scene has had its German and Polish activists work together from the very beginning, though Germany and Poland have historically had conflicts. This contradiction is either masked, relativized or excused as a historical mistake. A conspiracy theory says the Jews would have prevented an alliance between Nazi Germany and other Eastern European countries. Kanjaz Vargoth, singer and guitarist of the Ukrainian band Nocturnal Mortem, gives the following explanation for the contradiction. Goreth of the Russian band Temnazor sees the Slavs and Germans as a part of a Hyperborean Aryan race and nowadays differing due to its degeneration. <laughs> Paganism As part of their anti-Christianity, anti-Semitism and the idea that white Europeans should return to their native ways, most NSBM bands promote ethnic European paganism. Hendrik Mobus interpreted the church burnings in Norway as a cultural atavism, a sudden and inexplicable plunge back into pre-Christian, medieval conditions in all but outward reality. Like the Swiss psychologist, Carl Gustav Jung, would have said, ancient archetypes resurfaced from our collective unconscious and repossessed receptive minds, which were, as a rule, still developing and thus especially impressible. The thus affected teenagers found themselves with an archaic state of mind and like in a mass hysteria, they induced their condition unto others. It goes without saying that a, say, 18-year-old adolescent who suddenly felt out of tune with his environment lacked the insight for a self-analysis. He argues that later on they would have realized the meaning of these emotions, begun to identify with paganism and taken an active interest in nationalist politics designed to preserve and to cultivate this very heritage. The booklet of the absurd album Asgard's Ray depicts the Knights Templar, the Teutonic Order and the Waffen SS as warriors of the Asgard's Ray, which the bands define as a term for an alleged godly and Germanic group of warriors. Topic. Satanism Besides pagan beliefs, part of the NSBM scene embraces an interpretation of theistic Satanism, depicting Satan as an ancient Aryan counterpart to Yahweh, the god of the Jews and Christians. This view is often called Vokish Satanism or Aryan Satanism. Kreisvelgeron of the True Frost sees Nazism as the political appearance of Satanism and the collective deification of man as a social animal, as godliness instead of humaneness. His bandmate Sidoris calls the same ideology a development of blood and soil Vokish way, diverse occult teachings and the ideas of Friedrich Nietzsche in connection to Darwin's evolution theories. Greek black metal musician Magus Wampir Dayalith of Necromancia and Thou Art Lord said in an interview for Lords of Chaos. If you consider that fascism and Satanism have a lot of similarities as they both advocate power, spiritual and physical excellence, responsibility, survival of the fittest, elitism, etc., it's logical that some bands advocate both." However, many pagan and far-right bands see Satanism as a part of Christianity or Judaism. Also, some non-political satanic black metal musicians hold pagan bands in contempt, and do not recognize them as black metal because their lyrics and ideology do not include Satanism. Topic connections with broader white nationalist movement Many white nationalists have warmly received NSBM for its lyrical content and ideals. 
However, some have not, due to the music style as well as the genre's perceived association with the rock and roll lifestyle. However, Lords of Chaos notes that alcohol and illegal drugs never played a big part in the Norwegian black metal scene. Some also reject black metal musicians and fans for having long hair, which they associate with hippies and left-wingers. William Luther Pierce, founder of the White Nationalist National Alliance, sought to promote NSBM as well as other forms of white nationalist music through resistance records, believing that music would make the National Alliance rich and spread its message most effectively. To this end, he accommodated absurd frontman Hendrik Mobus while the latter had fled to the United States to evade German authorities. Although Pierce appreciated the ideological mindset of NSBM and resistance records, as well as the financial gains, the music did not personally appeal to him, and he attacked the sex, drugs and rock and roll and what he called Negroid influences. <laughs> Connections to black metal scene NSBM artists are a minority within black metal, according to Matthias Gardel. They have been rejected or strongly criticized by many prominent black metal musicians, including John Notvite, Tormentor, King O. V. Hell, Infernus, Lord Ahriman, Emperor Magus Caligula, Protector, Eric Daniel Son of Watain, and the members of Arkan Infaustusum black metalers liken Nazism to Christianity in that it is authoritarian, collectivist, and involves a herd mentality. It also conflicts with the misanthropic views of many artists. Benjamin Hedge Olson writes that the shunning of Nazism within the scene has nothing to do with notions of a universal humanity or a rejection of hate, but that Nazism is shunned because its hatred is too specific and exclusive. While some black metalers boycott NSBM bands and labels, others draw a line between the music and the musicians, as they only care for the music. Some have criticized this as passive support for NSBM. The bigger print metal magazines tend to ignore records by NSBM bands. The book Unheilige Allianzen caused a short debate, leading Legacy magazine to stop printing ads for NSBM labels. Another debate happened in the letters. Section of Rock Hard magazine following the article Der Recht Rand im Black Metal Black Metal's Far Right Border, prominent black metal band Darkthrone have also maintained an apolitical stance throughout their career, although Fenris claimed he was once arrested while participating in an anti-apartheid demonstration and later had a phase of being really angry with other races before he became totally unengaged in political shit. Joachim of Kraft said I don't think National Socialism mix s with the ideology of real black metal in a way, but that doesn't go further than labels. I only think NS black metal is an inappropriate label for the music. <laughs> Denial of identification Some bands have denied being labeled NSBM, and assert that they are pagan black metal. These include Krata, Graveland, and Marduk. Bands that have been identified as NSBM have experienced violent attacks against them. <laughs> List of artists Absurd Goatmoon Grand Belial's Key M8L8TH Wolfkrieg Malsaint Topic See also Nazi punk Rock against communism Neo Vokish movements Nazi occultism White nationalism <laughs>